Now, latter half of April, and what I really look forward to is this beast coming into flower. The most wonderful hybrid rhododendron I think ever invented. And there's a story behind it, which I shall tell you. Well, the story is this. Sir Edmund Loder Baronet in the late 1870s, 80s, bought an estate outside Horsham in West Sussex called Leonard's Lee with a big garden. He was very keen to collect rare trees and shrubs and all the rhododendrons he could from that were coming in from China. As it happens, I was looking at the membership of the first Rhododendron Society, which was founded in 1915. And of course, they were all men except for one woman, Dame Alice Godman. Her name was Deputy Director of the Red Cross during the First World War. Anyway, they had a house called South Lodge, which was almost opposite Leonard's Lee. Her husband, an explorer, and her were very keen on rhododendrons. And in the greenhouse, they had a rhododendron called Griffithianum, which is fairly tender, but it happened to be of extremely good form of this aforementioned rhododendron. And the Godmans and Loders exchanged plant material quite regularly. And Sir Edmund had a lovely rhododendron fortunii in his garden. So he took the pollen from the splendid rhododendron griffithianum from the greenhouse at South Lodge and pollinated his rhododendron fortunii. Uh, the cross had been made before, but on this occasion it was absolutely splendid and produced this hybrid called Rhododendron Loderi after Sir Edmund. As an aside to my aside, uh, Sir Edmund also collected wallabies. <laughs> uh, and they're a particular wallaby with a good thick coat so they could withstand the winters. And uh, they were left to hop about the bushes. <laughs> And I believe they still have the wallabies there at Leonard's Lee, even to this day. Anyway, there we are. That's um, by the by. Meanwhile, back at the rhododendron. Of course, the other amazing and distinctive thing with this rhododendron is its scent, which is fruity and fresh. And I use the word fresh because it really is sort of clear and fresh and distinct, unique, I would say, so that when you're passing even if you can't see it, you smell this and you immediately know the rhododendron and shrub that's producing this fantastic scent. I must say it is the most wonderful hybrid and takes an awful lot of beating, quite frankly, even if it's over a hundred years old as it was first crossed in 1901 flowered for the first time in 1907. Wonderful beast.